little artist, for today's little bunny project, you will need some white paper, construction paper, and those can be any color of your choice, a pencil eraser, scissors, glue, and a black marker or a sharpie. We're going to start our drawing at the bottom half of our picture. We're going to take and break our page into halves. So we're going to start from top to bottom, find the middle, go below the middle, and we're going to draw a circle. Now your circle does not have to be perfect, just get it as round as you can, just a real quick circle. Now I'm going back, top to bottom, find in the middle again. And this time, I'm just going to use this as a beginning space, just a little bit higher than that. Now, this shape is hard to give it a name. So I'm going to start with a curve at the top and down. And then it's going to go out and back. It is almost like a pear shape. It's just wider than a pear would be. And that is my bunny's face. So you can kind of smooth it out. Just don't draw too dark because we're going to need to erase these lines when we're done. I'm having to draw a little darker so you can see. But you need to keep everything really, really light. Now I'm going to come right here. I'm going to draw the bunny's body. This body is just going to be a curve out on each side. His body extends off the page, so I don't have to worry about drawing all of the details on his body. But you can see that his head and body are attached. Now I'm going to go up for his ears. I want his ears to be as long as they can be. So I'm going to start up here close, very close to this corner. And I'm going to come out and around. I'm going to round this corner off here and come back. These don't have to be perfect shapes. You can see one is leaning a little more than the other. One may be a little thicker than the other. Do not worry. Just get it as close as you can real quick. Now I'm going to start with the details. The details are going to be very simple. I'm going to start with his little nose, which is very similar to a triangle. The mouth that we're going to come down from that triangle, curve out on one side, and then curve out on the other for his mouth. Now for his eyes, his eyes are going to be up here. One, of course, on each side. Give a little bit of space. But we don't want to put them too close together. Now, continuing to keep my lines light, I'm going to start up here above his eye and curve back to his nose. I'm going to do the same on this side. Keeping my lines very light so that they can easily be erased. I'm going to go up under his eye on each side. I'm going to draw a curve out to the side of his face. I'm also going to draw a curve around his eye this way. And I'm mimicking the shape of his eye. I'm kind of copying the shape of his eye right there. Oops. Now I'm going to go to back to his body and I'm going to start drawing the lines to guide my texture. I'm going to keep them kind of close together and curve them. And this one's going to go off a little at the bottom. I'm going to do the same for his ears. I'm going to start here and go up and I'm trying to keep them about the same distance apart and I'm keeping my lines very light 
and I'm just filling a space with lines, slightly curved lines. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm going to try to do the same on this side. One, two, three. So I tried to make them look very similar. You'll notice there are a few that are a little different. I'm not going to stress on getting it perfect. And I am going to try to keep my lines clean as I work. Next, I'm going to start right above his nose. And it's going to be one. Just continuing with that pattern. Curve line. I'm trying to keep them the same distance apart. Then I'm going to go below his eyes. And curve the other direction. Got seven over here. I'm gonna try to do seven over here. And I believe I can fit one more. I'm gonna do one more. Okay, one more. The last place we have to add our pattern is this nose right here. And I'm going to draw this very lightly, I'm drawing little ovals. And I'm drawing this very lightly because I don't want to get it confused with his details like his nose and his mouth. You can see my ovals are touching in some places. If it touches on this side, it needs to touch on this side. And since it does not, I'm going to touch it up a little bit. And remember, all of these lines are not going to be cut. When we're done, I'm going to get rid of all of these lines. So I need to keep it very light. So we've laid out our bunny and we have all our texture lines created or our pattern lines. And I'm ready to start with my Sharpie or black marker. I'm going to start with his eyes. I didn't draw this with the pencil, but I need to do it now. I'm going to outline his eye and then I'm going to draw that little white highlight you remember the little white highlight helps us show that this is round and it's wet. It shows that little glare that it would have. And once I get that, I can color in around it. I'm also going to do the same for his nose. on it and draw that little highlight because his nose would be three-dimensional and it would be wet so I'm going to make sure that shows that little highlight that little glare that would be on it and then I'll fill that in around the highlight and I'll go ahead and trace his mouth Now I'm ready to start filling the space with lines and the patterns. I just have to be very careful. The closer my lines go together, the darker the color will be. The further apart they are, the lighter it will appear farther away. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to start with the eye, around the eye, and I'm just going to draw them a little short line. And this is because I want attention on the eye. This is not the pattern I'm going to repeat around the whole bunny. I'm leaving a little space. I'm keeping these really, really short. And I'm leaving a little space between them. And again, I'm only doing this for the eye. Everything else, my lines are going to be a little closer together. 
to make all the other spaces darker. With the pattern a little longer and closer together, I'm going to start on his body. And I'm just going to follow those lines that we drew before. This nose and mouth area is overlapping this line, so I'm going to just fill it in. And again, my lines are close together. They're short here because they're going under his mouth. Let's see how they get longer when it comes to the other side. And I'm just doing that all the way around. Don't forget, the closer my lines are, the darker it looks. And we always want to get all the way to the edge of our paper so that everyone looking at our picture can tell that this image keeps going. But we have to be careful on our workspace. You don't want to draw on your table. So this is the pattern that we're going to repeat all over our bunny. The hard spots are going to be around the eyes and around his nose and mouth. As you work, make sure to use the pencil lines as a guide for your patterns. Your line patterns should fit between the pencil lines. As you work, you'll find it's hard sometimes to keep your lines uniform the same. Just do your best. Keep it going, don't give up, and just fit as many in as you can. You'll notice that I continue to move my paper around so it's easier for me to keep this pattern going. We've been working a lot lately with patterns and keeping our patterns going and filling in spaces with patterns, using all of our space. Make sure that you're doing that with this project also. Make sure that you're filling in the space. Make sure that your pattern continues going as far as it can in that shape. You don't want to put extra lines outside of the rabbit's body. You also don't want to leave empty spaces that don't have that texture pattern in there. As you draw the same thing over and over again, use the same motion over and over again with your hand, you'll probably notice some soreness in your hand. Do not worry and try really hard to keep going and not stop. That's going to keep those little muscles working. And there's my little rabbit. The next step is to erase some of these lines that really stand out. I'm not going to worry about being perfect and getting all of the lines, but just some of the lines while I was drawing, some of my lines were a little darker than others. So I'm just cleaning those up. Just erase those that really stick out. Like I said, don't be worried about perfectly getting all of your lines erased. And be careful as you erase not to wrinkle your paper, rip it, or tear it. Oh, 
Okay, I think I have most of my lines, not all of them, but most of them. And I'm going to need my scissors for the next step. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim on the outside edge, leaving a, like a little white buffer, like a little edge of white around them. Not very thick, just a little bit. You'd rather leave too much though than not enough. You'd rather have it a little thicker than to cut so close that you cut your bunny. For the background, I could paint a pretty bright background to glue him onto, but instead I'm just going to paste him onto a nice bright color. I could use any color I have. I think I'm going to go with green though. You can see I'm just making sure to get him all the way to the very bottom and line up him with the bottom. I don't want to put him like this because there's too much space there. I'm going to make sure that he goes all the way to the bottom like that and then he's nicely spaced out. I'm going to take my glue stick and I am going to make sure to get all his little edges. Another cool option for the background would be to use some scrapbooking paper uh, with a cool pattern to have some more contrast against our bunny. But he really stands out very nicely on this bright green construction paper. Next you can add some cool details or some extra items with your the rest of your construction paper. You could create some sunglasses or glasses bow, a hat, a bow tie to go on in. You would draw it on your construction paper and then cut it out. I've already cut out some glasses for her. And you see they're oversized. They don't fit perfectly and that is fine. I could have a bow on her head or I could put two bows on her like that. Or I could make him a bow tie and make him a little boy. It's up to you. Just take your construction paper, draw what you would like, and then cut it out. If you're drawing some glasses, don't forget to draw glasses. If I were drawing the heart glasses, I would draw a heart. And then a heart inside. And it is very hard to make them the same. Just do your best. And then I would connect them with the glue. And then of course just cut out the outside edge and then cut out the inside. So if that, if I were making some heart glasses, that's how I would do it. If I'm making a big bow tie. Glasses can be all different shapes, all different sizes. They can be oversized, they can be smaller. It's up to you. While you're adding these extra pieces, make sure that you're careful not to add too much. The more you add, it kind of takes away from your bunny, and we don't want that to happen. So be careful adding if you don't um, 
if you put something up there and then keep adding something else and adding something else and add too much, it covers up so much of your bunny that it just takes away from them. So we don't want to add too much. If we wanted to put two or three items, that would work out nicely. Even if you just wanted to add one or none, it's up to you. Whatever you decide to add, of course, you'll have to glue down. So I'm going to put some glue on the back here and glue that down. And I think I'm just going to add the glasses. So the glasses are very thin. I have to be very careful. And once we get all our pieces glued down, you'll be done. Have fun. Don't add too many details, but have fun adding a few. I cannot wait to see yours.